Hey guys, uh, this one will be a little bit different than all of the previous videos I made because, well, I just want to talk about a template that I've made a couple of minutes ago, uploaded to Zabbix Share, and uh, yeah, you're free to use to download it and use it in your environment. So this video will be simply explaining about how that works, uh, how things are happening, so just in case if the template will not be working on your machines, you would know how to troubleshoot this and uh, perhaps fix the problem. So the topic you already saw in the title is a Windows Defender. That's the kind of official security software that comes from the Microsoft on the Windows and there's like really a lot of things are going on it uh, starting with a lot of the features like anti-spyware, antivirus, uh, um, protection of downloaded file files, uh, real-time protection, quick scans, full scans, a lot of database updates are going on daily to update well, yeah, the database of known threats to your computers, and it's indeed it, it is wise to monitor that stuff because if we don't if we don't do that, it might be that we found out about some kind of the threat when it is already too late. And how are how how am I collecting all that information? So since that uh, Windows Defender, this is specifically for the Windows. If you have only a Linux machines, you don't have to worry about this. And, uh, of course, all of that information about it is kept in the Windows somewhere there deeper. Actually, there are two options how to collect this information. One option is through the performance counters, and uh, I have a video in my channel about how you can utilize and monitor performance counters in the Windows. And a second option is using WMI, WMI, which is uh, Windows Management Instrumentation, I would say just interface. Uh, an interface that allows you to get a lot of configuration and management information about your operating system, including also the softwares and services running on it. And not only get information, but also create a configuration. Like uh, if we're talking about a Windows Defender, it would be possible to execute a WMI call to start, uh, let's say, a quick scan on the computer. But in our case, we'll be just doing the monitoring. So let's, I don't know how we will start. Um, let's open the latest data. The latest data, and this, th these are the items that I have in my template, and I've divided those in the three applications. I usually don't use applications, but since I decided that I will upload it in the internet, so okay, let it go. Uh, first of all, the computer state. Computer state will always return an integer, and uh, I would really suggest to create a value map, and there are the best possible values. So zero means clean, one pending full scan, two pending reboot, four pending manual steps, pending offline scan, and pending uh, critical failure. Windows Defender has failed critically. I've added also a trigger on this one. So zero is absolutely fine. Then we have the features. What do we have enabled or disabled? Anti-spyware, antivirus, behavior monitor, uh, on access, real-time protection. And then the scan ages. Antispyware signature age in days. Zero days is good. Because it's like how many days have passed since the last update of antispyware signature. So zero is fine. Zero, zero, one day. Uh, that's the quick scan. Okay, we'll get back to it. Then signature last updated. So we kind of know that it is zero days, so it's up to date, which is absolutely fine. But I've added also an item that uh, collects information when was the last update. And the format is not very pretty. Uh, what It is year, then month, two digits, then date, and hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, before, it actually looks a little bit more ugly. It looks like this. So to prevent this, which of course we don't need, I've added also a regular expression 
to the item in the pre-processing tab so this template technically if you just download it and you want to import it it will not work on anything below 3.4 because I am using uh, pre-processing which was added in 3.4 uh, the regular expression so we are searching only for the digits and uh, grouping them and the first group is everything before let me find it before dot so this would be the first group this is the second group and this is the third group so I am selecting just this so here I added the uh, pre-processing and there we go uh, that is a very very minor thing in terms of pre-processing so if you have uh, 3.0 uh, option 1 you can just pick the keys and uh, create your own template in your instance where you can simply delete those pre-processing rules you will have a bit different format for the date maybe you don't even need this item because it's it's not a graph it's, it's just a textual information and I would say that the most important information is to see this data uh, age in the days so what do we have next why I have uh, very strange numbers in the full scan age uh, don't worry, that's simply because I didn't have any full scans on this particular machine which I am monitoring ever. So there is no information. It's The answer is actually no, but uh, something happens and, and we get it like this. If I will perform uh, at least one full scan, then the data will, will be reasonable again. Uh, signature last updated. Again year, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds, and the quick scan age. So one day ago, this machine was uh, performing a quick scan. And, well, since the computer state is clean, so nothing was found and everything is absolutely fine. I've added also a couple of, let's go here, uh, a couple of triggers. Uh, triggers, I've talked about this in my previous videos, are, are very specific for, for environments and any other situation. Perhaps you don't need to know that uh, antivirus, uh, no, let's say IO, AV protection is disabled on the computers. Maybe it's disabled by default. So just disable or delete the triggers. Uh, change the thresholds. Antispire signature was not updated for more than five days. Maybe you need to lower the threshold to two days. Perhaps that uh, update is happening daily. Uh, what else? Somewhere there should be zero. This one. No. For more than five days. Oh, this actually is wrong trigger. Okay, I, I will fix that. Uh, I was talking about a computer state. I've added the trigger uh, only on... Nope, nope. Only on uh, the 16. This one. So only when it failed critically. Perhaps you would want to make a changes in the thresholds and alert when it's anything except clean. So go ahead, you have a template, you can delete, disable triggers or add your own thresholds. Items, okay. Uh, how those items look like and, and what we're doing. So all of the item keys, I have them here, these ones, all are using the wmi.get key which requires two parameters. First one is a namespace and the second one is a query. What you want to select. Uh, just like any other Zabbix agent items and these items are working with a Zabbix agent, you can test it with a Zabbix get utility uh, by adding a host 102.168.212.1 and adding a key slash key, dash key, uh, and the actual WMI get with a namespace and a query, and you'll get an output. So this again is just a quick way how you can test your items before actually adding them to your front end. And, and, and what else? Where did I get this information from? Well, just Google, just Google for Microsoft documentation, 
and you will find this. I will actually post this link in the description of the YouTube. So we are utilizing this class, an MSFT MP computer status class, and it has these properties, and I've used just a couple of them. So we have, I don't know how many, 10, 15 items, but we could add more. I just didn't see any proper reason to add all of them because not all of them are important, like the full scan, start time, and end time. I don't really care. I care that the full scan was running and that everything was fine. I don't care when it started. And below you will find information uh, about all the, all the properties, what are the received values, what did they mean. Another one, documentation about the WMI.get, and uh, I will paste the link in the description. So just a short explanation, what are we doing here? So two parameters, the namespace and a query, just as I mentioned it, uh, and it looks like this. The feature itself is supported started since 2.2, so you can utilize this on very old versions of the Zabbix. Another thing, WMI, uh, cool, <clears throat> we've opened this page and, uh, well, this most likely will not mean anything to, to us, to me, to you, whatever. I am using also this feature and again, I will paste the URL in the description, which is uh, WMI Explorer and that's just a small open source, I don't know, I know that it's free, uh, utility that will help you to go through all of the namespaces, all of the classes, all of the properties and uh, pick up the proper namespace that you will have to use, where it is, uh, this one, the proper namespace which you will have to use in the item keys, this part. And it doesn't change for all the items. But these are like computer state, I've got it from here computer state, this one, and all of the others also. Uh, just like I told you, I've up uploaded the template in the Zavik share. Again, I will post the link in the description. And uh, yeah, just, just give it a try. I don't know, I made this in a big rush. And uh, well, you can see that it is working on my computer. I have just uh, basic Windows 10 and, 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 and Zavix 4.0. Download it, test it. I really suggest you to monitor the Windows Defender on your Windows machines. Uh, that's absolutely okay if you will decide to dis disable like uh, half of these items and leave only, uh, as example, the computer state and features running. That's okay. If you need to change the update intervals, that's also absolutely okay. I've just added them as I think I would do that if I would have to monitor these things. Okay, uh, this indeed was a short video, comments, questions as usual, uh, yeah, if you like this, this content and you want to see more, just click subscribe, don't hesitate to watch any previous videos that we have in the channel, there's a lot of useful information, and thank you, goodbye guys.